Craig Fagan's penalty miss on the stroke of full time didn't matter. Word was filtering through to the 23,000 at the KC Stadium that Hull's 0-0 draw against Swindon was enough to clinch League One promotion. To be fair, I heard the fans singing, so I thought I knew that we'd uh, obviously got up. But there was less pressure on the planet, but I can't believe I missed it. I'm getting about it. Some players go for their whole career never doing it, and then they're feeling like what I'm feeling now with such a big club and so many fans here for them. So for that, you know, I've got to thank everybody, but the boys are elated. Get so many goals this season, it's just been a, a real added bonus. And you know, just give God thanks for all those things and uh, just going to enjoy next year. Now. And hopes are already high for a third hole promotion and the first ever crack at the top flight. The present staff as they are now, there's only one place we are going, and that's further. the manager and the coaching staff and the players have been fantastic. We've got a really good team and, and, and we're going to give it a go next year as well, but we'll enjoy this summer first. It was a great day and uh, delight for the supporters. We've got to try and have a good season in the next division. Already I'm quite happy because it's a tough division. The scoreline as the Tigers did enough to go up. 23,000 fans celebrated with the players. Hull City are now back to their highest ever position in the Football League. And the club chairman, uh, Adam Pearson, is uh, joining us now. Good evening Good to evening. you. Do I call you Sir Adam? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, you've called me different things, Peter. Yeah, probably, <laughs> yeah. So you'll want to reinforce the squad now. Um, who are you going to chase with your checkbook then? Uh, anyone that I'd have heard of? Uh, there may be one or two that you've heard of like now. Who? But Oh, well, I couldn't tell you Can't that, you please. Me. No, 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 no. But I think there are one or two big names Household to come name. in. Household name? Household name. There might be some, but it's more likely to be Give what? us a clue. Give us a clue. Um, can't do that. But I can tell you with it. You can. A, I can't tell you because I actually don't know myself. But it so is a household get, name. Oh, no, no, I wouldn't say that at all. But he, Peter definitely will be going for hungry young players again. So the same fit that we've got now. Can you keep him? Are you expecting a fight on your hands? No, no fight at all. I think he's very happy. He's building a bit of a legacy at the club. Um, and he certainly wants to build it at his football club. So I think he'll be staying. I mean, football club does well, great. How do we make this work for the city then, to bring success, money and pride to, to Hull? Well, there's pride coming back. We've obviously, you know, we've caught Leeds up. We now intend to go past them. We intend to sort of sit down with the council and make the stadium that little bit bigger if we need to, which I think we do. Uh, and we intend to strengthen the team and the excitement and pride in sport in Hull will be great for the city. Look, you're, you're quite good at this business thing, aren't you? And, and also... No, you are. And, <laughs> and running a football club. I've got an idea. Do you want to hear it? Yeah, I'd love to hear it. Would you? Yeah, I would, definitely. Why, why don't you and the chief executive of the council swap places for a week? Kim runs the, the football and you run the council. Do you fancy that? Would Kim fancy that? I what? think he probably would, wouldn't he? Yeah. It's a lot easier. But would you? Would you? Uh, no, I wouldn't. I think it's too complex and it's too political. For me, it, it, Hull City, we've got a really clear strategy and it's easy to achieve. But you're a good businessman, aren't you? You saw something in Hull a few years back and it's paid off. What did you see? Uh, that, that P word, that potential massive catchment area, people who were a bit disillusioned with sport but had a great passion for it, a council who wanted to invest in, in facilities, which is what it was crying out for, and it was at its lowest ebb and there's no better time to buy a football club than when it's on its knees. Shrewd cookie? Oh, I wouldn't say that, it was just a bit fortunate. <laughs> <laughs> You've got an answer for everything, you. <laughs> well, the whole thing has justified the stadium, uh, it, you know, if it needed it. What about now? I mean, you need a few more seats, don't you? Well, we do. Uh, uh, I think the council are very keen to, to progress the stadium, and there's a couple of routes to go. Uh, certainly another 5,000 would put us up there at the, the top end of the championship. And we've, got, we've, got, we've got a little plan here of what, what, you know, what might happen if we... No, no, have a look at this. What do you think of this? If we <laughs> terrible. No, no, what do you think of that? <laughs> I think that looks fantastic. I right. think it looks very similar to the other stand. Yeah. Now, could we have that? <laughs> could we have that without a casino or, is, or, or uh, do they go hand well, in hand? Well, I think they're talking positively about that, but it's not just a casino. It's a big yeah. five-star hotel. It's a leisure complex, yeah. swimming pool. You'd but love you it. You, I'd love it, would you I? You would. You'd really yeah. like well, it. What about you? Now, when Peter was on, the gaffer on Friday, he said he didn't watch football as wives. Do you? Yes, yes, we do. No, my wife enjoys football as well. Well, you like it as well, don't you? Because it's I full do. of glamorous ladies and football. Is. Yes, they're out of touch, but they look good. <laughs> <laughs> OK, good to see you. Thanks very much, Steve, for coming in. Thank you.